Okay, so today we're going to talk about why gambling is idolatry. And you can see that this was a note I made on the, um, I think that's 29th of March. And you don't see the 2017, I guess. That's cut off. Hmm. Let me see if I can help with that. So, here it is. Why gambling is idolatry. Gambling is fueled by the thrill of risk. These are just obvious things. Risk is created by the unpredictability of the gambling event's outcome. The fact that you don't know what the outcome will be is a risk. Why is it a risk? Because you can't predict what it will be. That's why it's a risk. It's so obvious we don't even realize that that's what it is. It's because it's unpredictable, the outcome. That's why it's a risk. And those who, who feel like gambling think they'll have some sort of influence over that outcome, right? <clears throat> this unpredictability is created by what we call randomness, but in fact is a measurable quantity. It is not measured linearly, but statistically. Statistics is the science of, of particularity of individuals compared to ranges or groups. I know that's very difficult to grasp. Maybe you'll think about that and meditate on it. It's quite deep. Our inability to predict this outcome gives the act of gambling a feeling like there is a person behind it deciding whether to make it one way or the other. So it's that unpredictability, that lack of access by us to determine the outcome that makes us feel like there's a person behind it. Okay? Luck or lady luck or fortune, fortuna, uh, are the, uh, the names that are given to this person in English. When we gamble, we are surren surrendering a tithe to luck and praying, which in Greek in the Bible means to wish. It's wishful boasting. Notice the boasting part. We are wishfully boasting to luck that she would bless us an unwarranted and surprising surplus or outcome. That's what a blessing is. An unwarranted, we didn't earn it in any special way, and a surprising surplus or outcome with more than we gave her or at least return what we gave. That's what we hope for. So let me say it again. When we gamble, we are surrendering a tithe, some portion of what we earned, to luck, which is the person behind the outcome, that she would bless us with an unwarranted and surprising surplus or outcome with more than we gave her, or at least return what we gave. Now tell me how gambling is not idolatry after hearing this and understanding that is the mechanism going on. It's exactly idolatry, and you need to stop it. No gambling whatsoever in any situation, any case, whether it's the lotto, whether it's some sort of raffle, whatever it is. And when I hear of a church having a raffle, I'm just in shock. Cannot even believe that they're doing that. So don't get involved in that. Because then you're going to go down that path that we covered just recently in, in Judges 10, 10 through 16, actually 6 through 16, where Israel, Israel refused to recall God and how he rescued them out of other situations. Then they started worshiping other gods from other cultures. And Fortuna, Luck, is a god from another culture. It is exactly a goddess. It is. Go look it up on the internet. Fortuna. F-O-R-T-U-N-A, like tuna. Fortuna. Fortuna. Fortune comes from that. It is actually a goddess in another religion. So when we gamble, we are actually worshiping a god from another religion, and we need to stop it. You need to worship the Lord God only, which means stop these activities that are worship of other gods. Otherwise, you end up like Israel did, where God allowed them to be sold into slavery to the very people whose gods they worshipped. 
And those people kept them as slaves and abused them and beat them 18 years before they finally gave up their gods, cried out to the living God, repented, and God at least freed them, even though he was grieved to the point of crying. We just covered this. And if you go this route with gambling, you're going to do the same kind of thing, and you may have similar outcome where God may sell you into slavery of some kind, or you're abused for 18 years, and at the end of those years, you've lost those years in your life. Don't go down that road. And if you are on that road, get off it right away. Don't even look back. And may the Lord bless you as you seek him with all your heart. Remember to subscribe down below and like the video and share it on your Facebook and other social media. And then make a comment, whether a question or a comment. We read all of them and we try to respond to all. Get on over to our website, The Rooted Word, and start reading the translation and also the articles we've posted. It's at therootedword.com, therootedword.com. And may the Lord bless you as you seek Him with all your heart.